Hey everyone, this is WaywardWin911. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the last episode, we traversed through more of Hollow Bastion. This place is quite a dungeon. But now, we're gonna head into the Castle Chapel. Meanwhile... So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes. The keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it. And the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Oh. Ah. Impossible. The princesses of heart are all here. It must be her. Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. The king's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. Okay, a few questions. One, what's wrong with Riku's voice? Two, why does he have a keyblade? And three, why do, why are they saying as they why are they talking as though Kyrie doesn't have her heart? Okay, well this is the last place for a respite. Since we never use any of these, let's use a cottage. Okay. Okay, meanwhile, okay, so in between parts I grinded a level. I also got the ability counterattack. So that's pretty useful. Anywho? Holy crap cutscene. I'm afraid you're too late. Any moment now, the final keyhole will be unsealed. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Me, yes. the mistress of all evil! Okay, so now we're fighting Maleficent. No, you just want to get up to her little pedestal area and beat the crap out of her. Now she will fight back, as you might expect from the boss. Oh, and she also summons Heartless. Now keep in mind, those cutscene players. You can also bring down her platform. I'm going to test and see what that does. She just brings her down, as one would expect. Let's cast Arrow, just to be safe. Anywho, she's gonna continue casting all these spells, but... And... Shit. Donald, get up. Let's deal with these defenders. Oh crap, I see that over there. She is casting a thunder spell and it is wrecking us. Okay, Donald, get up. Oh. Damn it. Donald, you didn't heal me fast enough. Okay, let's take three. Okay. 
Okay, this seems very effective for some reason. Yeah, this is, this is surprisingly effective. Ah! <laughs> what was that? Okay, so let's take care of some defenders. Ah oh, man, I wish I had Kyrga. Oh yeah, spoiler warning, you get the third stage spells. Ow. Okay. <laughs> She's on her last health bar. Casting wind spell. The wind spell. Yeah! There we go! Just start up my timer again, because I use a stopwatch to keep track of what time it is in the video. And now that we've kicked Maleficent's ass, she just flees. And Donald learns cheer, and we get Ansem Report 5. Now, there's also a save point here. Huzzah. So, I guess, like, uh, abilities, Donald. Huh. Could have equipped so many abilities so long ago. Yeah, let's equip Leaf Bracer. And Berserk. Meanwhile... Uh, let's give him MP Rage. And Evolution. Sora, I already have everything. Man, I really want Second Chance, but Leaf Bracer's just- Ah, uh, uh, excuse me. Leaf Bracer is just that much better. <laughs> anyway, let's just save right here. I'll save to. Oh. I'll save to a fourth file. Saving. Okay. Now, let's head into the portal. This isn't ominous at all totally isn't going to there is there totally isn't gonna be anything bad do you need some help Riku is that? yes a keyblade but unlike yours this keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts allow me to demonstrate Behold! What in the fuck? Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself! This is it. This power! <laughs> darkness. The true darkness! Oh, this isn't good. No, it isn't. 
Alright! Maleficent Dragon Form. And guess what? We get to fight it! Isn't that so exciting? <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, so one word of advice. Always, always have arrow on. I'm gonna use an elixir. Ow, damn it. Okay. Donald, get the hell up. And now I'm gonna summon Tinkerbell. Now Tinkerbell actually acts as a sort of regenerator power and auto life. So if you die, then... Yeah. Now, Tinkerbell won't last forever, as you might be able to guess. Ow. Ow. Using a high potion. Oh. Ah. Get the hell up, everyone. Oh, damn it. I'd love to use a Mega Lancer. Ow. Okay, we're doing good so far. Ow, ow, ow! What? Okay, good. Tinkerbell? Still there. Oh! Did it just use auto life? Yes, it did. And that's it for Tinkerbell. Okay, that's one Mega Elixir. I don't think you can summon the same summon twice. As a matter of fact, I think it's once you can only summon in general once per battle. Kinda sucks, but eh. Oh well. Oh crap, ah! Ah, all that fire. Okay, come on. Come on, die! Die! Yeah! And Maleficent goes down in a blaze of glory. See? Everything burns. <laughs> How ironic. She was just another puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. 
She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. A fitting end for such a fool. The fuck's up with Riku? Anywho, we obtained Fire Glow. Okay. Now, that seems like a summon crystal. What's going on? Oh! Hidden door. Whoop the fucking do. So, before we head on, I'd like to break the pace a little by heading into the gummy ship and going over to. Traverse Town. Because I want to see what this summon stone holds. We do have a bunch of time, and I don't want to progress with the plot in this episode. Sorry. I could make the episode short, but there are things I can do, so I might as well do them. So, after this loads up, let's examine the carousel and talk to the fairy godmother. Oh, another summon jump? Let's help this little one. Here we go. Bippity boppity boo! And we learn to summon Mushu! Nice. Okay, so wait, I want to check real quick. Do we have any torn pages? No, we don't. Huh. Well, with the amount of money I have, I could probably buy some items. Uh, but... That'd actually be pretty wise. Let's do that. Uh... Let's just warp there, because warping is so, so easy. Gotta love how big my freaking gummy ship is. It's just really big and bulky. Just look at that! That's absurd. Anyway... Let's head into the item shop. Now, I don't suspect that I'm gonna need any weapons because this place never updates the damn catalog. Ugh. What am I doing? Yeah. Okay. I like how they uh, they alternate. Like, who Huey, Huey, Dewey, and Louie alternate positions. So that's not always... I think this is... I haven't memorized my Donald's nephews. Um, I think this is Dewey. But yeah, they rotate, so that's nice. Oh, these items suck. Let's get five ethers. Uh... Ten high potions. Nah, more than that. Twenty. Okay. Now I'm gonna head over to the... I'm gonna head back over to Hollow Bastion. I suppose I could cut. Oh yeah, look at my health bar. It's finally going straight out. That's nice, right? Right? Oh yeah, there's something else I'd like to go over. Look at- look at this thing. Got gummy ship missions. I think this is exclusive- I think this is introduced in actually this game. So what they are, it's that- it's a way to encourage you to go- to do the gummy ship routes again. So there's several objectives. And you can you can try. So, for example, Neverland. Set off from Atlantica with only Thunder G as a weapon. 
destroy 150 or more enemy ships. So they have these random requirements. So yeah, I get. I guess it's a good way to get people to revisit the the gummy ship. But who wants to? I mean, it's so bare bones. Like it makes you want to play at the very least Kingdom Hearts 2 gummy ship segments. Yeah. Well, wasn't that a topic to talk about? Anywho, next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, we're going to proceed with Hollow Bastion. So, this has been Wayward Wind 911. If you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.